Chairman Hall, Ranking Member Johnson, and other members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to provide testimony today. My name is James Famiglietti, and I am a hydrologist and professor at the University of California, Irvine, and formerly at the University of Texas. Drought is an insidious and patient killer of food and fuel crops, of livestock, of flora and fauna, and of humans. And it has emerged as a major threat to our nation's food, health, economic, and water security. Unfortunately, these all may be at greater risk in the coming decades as increasing temperatures are expected to result in more frequent and prolonged drought. In spite of its enormous emotional and financial toll, current investment in drought forecasting, monitoring, and planning tools, such as those that we are discussing today, remains far too small to affect timely progress towards critical improvements. The stated goals of NIDAS are absolutely essential for a national scale drought monitoring prediction and awareness strategy. I fully support the continuation and proposed increase in NIDAS funding. For example, some key NIDAS successes are coordination of drought research in the United States. The NIDAS drought early warning system is emerging as a crucial step towards diminishing drought impacts and costs. NIDAS funding has supported many innovative research projects that are yielding insights towards improved drought monitoring, prediction, and mitigation. One of the most widely used and visible drought awareness tools is the U.S. Drought Monitor, an important partner of the NIDAS program. The gaps identified in the NIDAS implementation plan drastically limit the confidence of predictions and the accuracy of early warning systems. Of these, in my opinion, the most important are related to deficiencies in the nation's hydrological modeling assets, a lack of observations of the water environment, and their integration. All of these underlie drought information systems like NIDAS. In fact, our nation's ability to monitor and predict the state of its water environment is well behind where it needs to be to address not only issues of drought, but also of water availability, flooding, groundwater depletion, of human versus ecological water requirements, and of the impacts of global change. Moreover, we are falling behind the capabilities of other nations while significantly constraining our domestic efforts to ensure sustainable water management. The following are critical steps toward an advanced drought monitoring and prediction strategy. First, more realistic computer simulation models are needed that represent all major natural and human components of the water cycle. A significant acceleration in the development of advanced computer models for hydrology and water management, including an integrated national water model, is essential for effectively managing drought and a range of critical water issues. Second, we must fill in fundamental knowledge gaps of Earth's water environment at the surface and the shallow subsurface. We know very little about the unseen topography beneath the water surface. For example, the bathymetry of thousands of river channels, floodplains, and lakes, or of soils or hydrogeology at the national scale. Third, we need your support for key satellite observations of water. Since Dr. Pulwari summarized the need for continued ground-based measurements, let me emphasize those for satellites. Several current and future NASA missions are making fundamental contributions towards understanding drought and improving its prediction. The GRACE mission has been quite successful in identifying areas of water stress and of groundwater depletion. The figure shown on the screen, for example, shows areas which have lost significant amounts of water over the last 10 years, shown in red, due either to ice melting or groundwater depletion, while the areas shown in blue have gained water. Note that the regions where groundwater is being rapidly depleted are in the arid and semi-arid parts of the world, where natural replenishment of aquifers is limited and where population is growing. In other words, it won't be getting any better in those locations. Upcoming NASA missions, such as the Surface Water and Ocean Topography, or SWAT mission, will map changes in surface water storage, including areas of high and low river flows, lake and reservoir levels. The continued support of Congress for these core water missions 
is essential for effective and sustainable water management, including advancing our drought preparedness capabilities in the United States. Water is on a trajectory to rival energy in its importance in the United States, yet the investment in observations, models, and exploration of the subsurface pales in comparison. We have the potential to be world leaders in characterizing, monitoring, and predicting all aspects of the water environment, from forecasting droughts and floods to science-informed, technology-based, long-term sustainable water management. The vision and the technology are in place. Leadership in Congress is what will make it a reality. Thank you again for this opportunity to testify today. Thank you.